Let's start by just marching in place, swinging the arms. Try to bring the knees up a little higher, perhaps bring the arms up closer to the ceiling. And now we'll go into a half jumping jack, bringing one leg out to the side and then the other. So we'll start off with these half jumping jacks and then go right into some full jumping jacks. We'll do about 10 more. Okay, so let's begin. We'll alternate from lower body to upper body. So to begin, let's use a small loop band and we'll place this band right above the knees. If you don't have the loop band, it will be fine to do the exercise without the band. And if any time the exercise gets to be a little bit too intense, just take your band off. So make sure it's above the knees for today and we're gonna really flatten it out so it doesn't cut into the leg. And the knees are bent. We're going to be in this athletic position with um, the spine straight, hips pushed back a little bit. Using the strength of the outer leg and hip area, we're gonna start with some lateral steps. We're gonna go three one way and three the other way. So try to push the leg out to the point where you feel the resistance of the band. Okay, we're gonna pick up the speed now. So it's gonna look like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. So still, even though we've picked up the speed, push out with the hip and leg. Push out, two, three, push out. Out, two, three. Now you can modify this to make very small steps the way I'm doing. This would be like a level one or a level two, a little more advanced. Let's go out a little bit more to make a little more intensity to the exercise. We're gonna do this two more times and last time. Okay, so leave your band exactly where it is and let's pick up two weights. We'll be doing some shoulder work. We're going to place the weights on the shoulders, palms facing away from you, standing up really straight. Make sure your ears are right above the shoulders. We'll do some shoulder presses. As always, if you have a shoulder injury, just go halfway up or perhaps don't even use the weights. We'll do five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, place your weights down. And now we're gonna continue with the band work. The band is again, right above the legs, right, sorry, right above the knees. Make sure the band is really, really, really flat. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a step with the left foot, bring the right leg out, kicking forward, and then step all the way back. So we're taking a small step with the left foot, kick out and then back. So step, kick and repeat. 
step kick. So we're trying to get a little work in for the front of the leg, for the quad muscle, by raising the leg up and having to raise the leg up against the resistance of the band. So we're always kicking forward with the same leg. We'll do five more, one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Okay, now let's go to the other side. So step with the other leg, kick, and then back to starting position. So it's step, kick, step, kick. I mean, it, I really shouldn't even say kick. It's really a, a leg raise. I want you to really concentrate on using the quad muscle. I don't want you to do like a really uh, violent or powerful kick. I want you to concentrate on using the, the front of the leg. And again, you should be getting some resistance from the band. We'll do four more, one, kick, and two, kick, and three, and four. Okay, let's go back now to using the hand weights, let the legs rest, and we'll go back to some shoulder work. Okay, so now what we'll be doing is a front raise. We're just gonna bring the arms straight forward up to uh, the point where they're parallel to the floor and back down. And three, and four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, place your weights down. Keeping the band exactly where it is, right above the knees, what we'll be doing is stepping to the side, side step, squat, bring the leg back together, going the other way now, side step, squat, leg together. So that's our pattern. Side step, squat, together, side, squat, together, side, squat, and side, squat. Five more, one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Okay, going back to the hand weights for additional shoulder work, lateral raises. Arms out to the side with slightly bent elbows. So we're gonna bend the elbows, bring the weights out to the side. Palms are, when the arms are out to the side, the palms are facing downward. Elbows are bent slightly, standing up really straight. Feel like you're lifting from the shoulder, not from the elbow. Let's do five more. One, and two, and three, and four, and five. Good, okay. So place your weights down. And now you can remove your band. And we'll go into our next set of lower body exercises. So we're going to start off with doing a front lunge into a reverse lunge. So level one, we'll start off by bringing the leg forward, together, all the way back, and together. Again, forward, together, back, together. Then to progress this exercise, you're going to bring that leg even further forward. So it's a large step forward, push off, large step behind you. I'm staying with that same leg now. Forward and back. Okay, now 
Level two is not going to make that stop. So the more advanced version, forward, push off, and all the way back. Forward, push off. Now, if you want to try level two and you're not quite sure if your balance um, will be good enough to do the exercise, take your hand and just place it on a chair or on the wall. Forward, bend both knees and push off. And again, if you feel like, oh, not doing that, just <laughs> bring the, you know, go back to your standing position. Okay, just a few more. So this challenges our balance and leg strength in one exercise. Okay, time to do the other leg. So we're switching legs now. Let's start off with an easier version, level one, just to warm up that leg, stepping forward and back. Actually, we'll uh, forward and back to your starting position and then back. So if everything feels good, if your knees are good, go a little bit further forward, push off. And now try to go into level two, where you go forward, and then you go all the way back, all the way forward, all the way back. We'll do five more. One, and two, and three, four, and five. Okay, so let's let the legs rest and we'll pick up the weights again for bicep curls. Okay, regular bicep curls, just have the arms right next to you, palms facing away. Standing up straight with your good posture. We just bend the elbows, bring the weights up and back down. Let's do five more. And it's one and two and three four and five. Let's rotate so we go right into hammer curls. We'll do 10. Okay, arms stay tight to the body, palms facing the body. One and two, three and four, five, six and seven, eight, nine and 10. Now we're gonna hold on to the weights. We're not gonna use the arms. We'll let the lower body do some work now, but we're gonna just keep this extra resistance with us while we're doing a squat. So we're gonna have the legs a little bit wider than hip distance apart. We're gonna push the hips back and then come back up to standing. So regular squat while holding on to the weights. So remember to push your hips back and press up through the heels. Let's do five more, one and two and three, four and five. Now take one weight and just place it down. Hold on to one weight in any position that's comfortable for you. I'm just holding it 
by the large ends, we're going to have the legs a little bit wider than they were before. And we're gonna keep the weight in front of us. We're going to push the hips back and come back up to standing. And again, push the hips back and back up to standing. So in effect, we're still doing a squat move, but we've shifted the weight to the front of the body. Push the hips back and come back up to standing. Let's do five more. One and two and three and four and five. Okay. So now we're going to take this one weight and we're going to bring it all the way up for some work for the back of the arms. So the weight's up in the air. We're gonna bring it behind the head and back up. Behind the head and back up. So on this exercise, try to keep elbow to shoulder very still. When the weight goes behind your head, your elbows should be pointing up to the ceiling. Let's do five more. One, and two, and three, four, and five. Okay, and now holding on to this weight, you're going to just place the weight right in front of you at chest level and just leave it there just for the extra resistance. We're gonna bring the legs far apart in plie form and we're just going to sink your tailbone down and come up. Regular plie while holding the extra resistance. And we'll do five more. One, and two, and three, four, and five. Okay, great. So we'll continue now from the floor and work on some other major muscle groups. So hold on to all your equipment and adjust your screens.